early one morning a few weeks ago, 75-year-old Clarice Jones was in her kitchen when she started to feel severe shortness of breath. When I realized I was really in danger, I picked up the phone, I called 911, and I said, I cannot breathe. Within minutes, paramedics found Clarice in her home unconscious. She awoke in the hospital. I was in the emergency room, and this little female doctor was saying, Mrs. Jones, you've had a heart attack. Give me a deep breath. Further tests revealed Clarice had actually suffered the heart attack days before she called 911, but she did not recognize the symptoms. She says she did experience nausea earlier in the week, but thought it was something she ate. I decided it was food poisoning, and uh, then when I had the shortness of breath, I just decided it was allergies. Clarice's doctor told her she suffered what's called a silent heart attack, one that's accompanied by atypical symptoms. Uh, atypical symptoms would be symptoms that are not chest pain. For example, you could just have an episode of profound sweating and that's all. Or you could have severe indigestion. Silent heart attacks are twice as deadly because they often go unrecognized. Clarice was fortunate. Most folks with silent heart attacks never make it to the emergency room. Well, if she had waited a couple more hours, she may not have made it because she was suffering from acute congestive heart failure as a result of a heart attack she'd had two days earlier. I think it was almost a miracle. I think God was taking care of me, really. For Baylor Healthcare System, I'm Dr. David Winter.